All right, so we've got here from the driver's side, the 12 volt battery, a fuse box. We've got the computer of the car. This is the inverter. Under the inverter, we've got the transmission. Here we've got the VAP solenoid. This is the electric AGR valve. We've got the mass airflow sensor, air filter housing. This car is not turbocharged and it has regular injectors, so it's not direct injected. Back here, we've got the connector for the oxygen sensor and we've got the brake booster, the brake fluid reservoir. You can see all those brake lines going to each wheel and it comes from the ABS module. Usually on a hybrid, if you see orange lines, those are gonna be with electricity. So on this car, you've got basically two electric motors. One is gonna be sitting in between the engine and transmission. It's gonna be able to start the engine and charge the hybrid battery while the engine is running. And then you've got a second motor, which will also move the car and it's attached only to the wheels. And it's also responsible with the regenerative brakes. When you brake this car, most of the time, you're not gonna use the brake pads. All that is done by this inverter here. So it's a very important component of this hybrid system. So to increase efficiency, we've got as well a variable valve timing, which is controlled by this magnet here, this solenoid. Obviously we've got the coil packs under them, the spark plugs. Here we have a manifold absolute pressure sensor. It's attached to the intake manifold. Down there on the side, we can see there is no serpentine belt. Instead, we've got an electric water pump, the AC compressor, which is also electric down there. And the crankshaft pulley still comes out. On the passenger side, we've got the relay fuse box. This cable is for the transmission. So it comes from the cabin. Under this electric AGR valve, we've got the AGR valve unit, which has a heat exchanger on it. And you can actually see that one of the lines these thick coolant pipes are coming right from this heat exchanger from the AGR unit. Under here we've got the throttle body. Okay guys, so these were the locations of all the components you could see on this engine bay from the Toyota Corolla Hybrid. Take care and I will see you in the next video.